A few weeks ago, my brother senator from the 4th District rose in this body and said, I know your measure not by the words from your mouth, but by your actions. And yesterday, my brother senator from the 2nd District implored us all to denounce racism, to find our inner angels, and bend the arc towards justice. And my brother senator from the 18th District spoke of the need for anti-bias training for law enforcement. And it is clear the same is needed for lawmakers. And my sister senators from the 1st and 13th districts in their own powerful ways asked us to come together. But I ask, how can we come together when the majority in this chamber is having an existential crisis? After eight years of unfettered access to the executive branch, of both branches doing one another's bidding, and through it all, the minority remained civil while pointing out and seeking to rectify inadequacies and injustices. Now, though, when that access and perceived power are reduced, we get statement after statement of feigned outrage. Where was this outrage from the majority for Flint, where an entire community was poisoned and at least two generations left to feel the aftermath of that poisoning? While some here were prattling on ad nauseum about the lost decade, you helped create the lost generation of Flint babies with your silence. Where was this outrage during the educational crises with Buena Vista, Inkster, Detroit, or Benton Harbor? It was non-existent. Sure, you're Detroit, but only when it's convenient and for when it's a baseball game or the auto show. Yesterday, here, words were uttered from the gentleman from the 16th to the effect of trust cannot begin without honesty. And there were more orations about integrity, about failed leadership. What about the lack of honesty the absence of integrity, the failed leadership from some members of this body who gave the green light on an emergency, on emergency managers after the people said no at the ballot box. About gutting earned paid sick leave after adopting the ballot language whole cloth. How can we trust this body? How can the citizens of Michigan trust this body? How can anyone, especially people of color, Trust this body when it allows and condones symbols of hate and white supremacy to be put in the chamber and continue to go unchecked. It has been literally 34 days since a member drove roughly 90 minutes from his home, got out of his car, walked from the Binsfeld lot to the Capitol, took the elevator to this floor, and still chose to wear upon his face one of the most clear symbols of hatred and white supremacy in this chamber during session. Where was the outrage other than from this side of the room? Where is the action from this body? Where is the integrity and leadership? Now, when I was a girl, one of the lessons imparted to me was you'll be judged by the company you keep. Let's talk about the companies that some members of this allegedly esteemed body keep cavorting with people who protest for freedom with known symbols of hatred and white supremacy, swastikas, nooses, and yes, even Confederate flags. People who on one day provide quite the ceremony or oratory theatrics, verbally condemning acts and intimations of violence and murder, but a few days later, the very leader of this body drove 118 miles from his district during a pandemic, not just to rake leaves, but to stand shoulder to shoulder with and praise the very same people and groups who made such utterances and threats, as well as, members, uh, as, well as with members of an anti-government paramilitary group. I ask, where is the outrage for that? Where is the trust, the leadership, and the integrity? Words, your words, mean nothing. The actions, however, everything. Your slip is showing. It's clear that the masks and hoods have been pulled off, revealing the true self. Congratulations. You've proven the hypocrisy of this democracy. Now, my comments today are not an indictment on all, but to the voice of the majority, I am gravely disappointed. To others, silence means acceptance. Be mindful of the company you keep. And I challenge you to prove me wrong with your words and deeds, and let us do the right thing and stand together as one Michigan.